Good morning, everybody. Here we are on a foggy Friday morning. It's Friday the 6th of November, and here we are for another celebration assembly. So we've had two this week, one where we celebrated all the work from last term, and today's where we celebrate everything from this week, and a couple of surprises in store as we go along, so keep tuned in. Now, you know, I always like to start off with birthdays, and I'd like to say a big happy birthday this week to Alfie and Alfie in Redwoods. Well, you've been telling me pretty much all week the things that you've been getting. You've been very lucky this week. So um, I hope you had a lovely, lovely birthday. I know that you did. And uh, you've been very lucky with some of those gifts that you've got. OK, we're going to move straight on to the children who have been awarded 25 house points for themselves. This is a really, really important achievement because to get the bronze certificate uh, and moving straight on towards trying to achieve that silver certificate. And we've got a few more children, so let me read them out today. We've got Ava, Ava in Redwoods this week. We've got Blaze, Megan, James from Maples. And we've also got William from Cedars. And these are children who achieved them just at the end of last term or just at the start of this term. So they're really, really doing fantastically well. So keep coming because more children are getting close to 25 and already moving on towards 50. So that leads on nicely to our house points for this week. And as I said, some surprises. Well, Serpents, as you flew away with term one, it looks like you've been a little bit slower to start this term. You've come in fourth place with 60 points. Now, 60 points isn't too bad at all. But in third place with 68 points are the Eagles. One point more than the Eagles with, the, with 69 points are the Phoenixes. And with a great turnaround, Dragons, who were in fourth place last term, you've got 70 points. You have risen this term and you've woken up with fire in your breath. So well done, Dragons. You must be really proud of yourselves. Thing is, you can't let it slip now. You've got to keep going because it's no good winning for the first week. It's about trying to keep it going for the next few weeks. Well done. So where will the attendance trophy be going today? Well, I can tell you it's only going to one place with 100% attendance in Redwoods this week. Congratulations. The attendance trophy is coming down to you after assembly. Fantastic. Okay, now I'm going to just pause the celebrations for a moment and just talk about the fact that we went into lockdown. People are calling this lockdown 2.0 because it's a second lockdown. And it's a little bit different from the first lockdown that we all experienced because you're still able to come to school, which is fantastic. But what people are saying is it's it's a little bit different because at least we know when we think it's going to end this time. And although things like your clubs outside of school and some of the things that you're used to have not, uh, and aren't going ahead anymore, at least you can keep going on Zoom and you know how to use things like Zoom and Teams and all the kind of virtual platforms that you can use. It's a shame that you can't get out and do some of those clubs. But what I wanted to tell you is there's lots of people organizing lots of great things at the moment and it just takes a little bit of exploring to keep you busy and keep you occupied over the next few weeks. I've got one that I've seen uh, that popped into our, uh, our, email, our mailbox yesterday which is from the people that organized the Great North Run. Now they're doing a virtual challenge over the next 28 days and if you sign up before Monday you have to pay I think a few pounds for a medal and you can choose a challenge and there are some children's challenges that you can maybe run seven miles miles in, in, in a time limit or you can even go a little bit further and as the weather gets a bit colder and it gets a bit darker you can do those runs because part of your um, part of your exercise is so important to keep you keep you busy and keep you occupied over the next few days so I'll put the little the link in the description below and there are lots more things to have a look at loads more of people are organizing things to keep you busy and keep you happy over the next few weeks so that you don't just end up uh, playing on your on your tablets and, and on your computer games all the time. But as it gets a bit colder, it's sometimes nice to sit down, snuggle up and watch a film together as well. OK, so back to the celebrations. It is. Let's start with the Pines class. Uh, so it gives me great pleasure to say a big well done to Ted. And look how look how proud Ted is in that photo. Ted's been fantastic this week. He's worked through all the challenges that have been set. And he went back and improved one of them as well. So he's really, really proud of himself. Well done to you, Ted. 
And remember, these, these uh, awards are given to you by the teachers when they think that you've met one of our school motto challenges, when they think that you've been brave, or brilliant, or honest, or kind in yourself. So let's move on to Poplars. And I want to say a big well done to Xavier, who is a focused and sensible, quiet, hardworking member of the Poplars class. Poplars have been working very hard this week and I've seen some of their lovely writing, but Xavier, you've made some absolutely superb progress and Mrs. Mrs. Wheeler and everybody else in Poplars are so proud of you. You've been making great progress, not just in your writing, it's your maths, all of the adults are ever so proud of you and you make such great choices and you can be relied upon as well. So that's a really nice, really nice all round certificate there for you to, to add you to the winner's wall, well done into Redwoods and Miss Bellamy has been impressed with so many children this week. Uh, we're welcoming Mr Flynn back to school on Monday. Everybody's missed Mr Flynn a lot this week but Miss Bellamy's had a great time and every time I've popped into, into Redwoods you've been giggling. That fly kept coming onto your smart board a few times didn't he which was hilarious but you've had a great time. Now Georgia I, I must say when I popped in the other morning uh, I saw you had written a page of work for your Stone Age, uh, your Stone Age piece, and it was really, really dedicated work. You took care and pride in what you were doing, and I was impressed to see your punctuation and your neat handwriting, as well as how much time and effort you'd put into it. So it made me ever so pleased when uh, when Mrs. Miss Bellamy said how well you've settled into your first term here at Sibsey. You're doing your best all the time, and you're a pleasure to teach, and you're always a joy. So well done, Georgia. Now we move on to the Maples class and this young man has, had a, has been a fantastic member of the Maples class and not just for this week, since the start of the term as well, but it's really, really started to bounce this week. We've noticed, Lucas, that you are trying 100% of the time and I've been listening to you in some of the, the extra group work that you've been doing. You have been putting in such a lot of effort and when Mrs Sykes said, I'll read this next bit for you, Lucas, and then you jump in, you said, no, I'll read it. And I was really impressed, so well done to you. Keep up the good work. Moving into the Oaks class. So this award goes to Aidan. And Aidan, you've been very brave and you're beginning to share your ideas with class discussions. And that is absolutely brilliant. It makes me so proud to hear that, Aidan. Walking into school, you say hello to us and everything like that. But to hear you sharing that in your class is brilliant and making really good progress with your reading and keeping going with the accelerated reading tests. Well done, young man. What a really, really great achievement. Fantastic. And finally, into the Cedars class. Well, we've got Katie Housem. Katie, who has been chosen to her brilliance in mathematics. Well done, Katie. And actually, Katie, you are a very valued member of the Cedars class overall, and you should be really pleased with yourself. You're very mature, but it's your maths that's really enabled Mrs. Mrs. Crozier and Mrs. Lomas to be so proud of you this week. You're showing progress, you're showing good confidence, and it was an area where you used to think, oh, I'm not as good at maths as I am at English, but look how far you've come, and it's really really, really something to be proud of. So well done to you. Now, who is going to be brave, brilliant, honest, kind and themselves next week? Hopefully everybody. I hope you have a lovely Friday and I will see you all soon. Thank you.